The PNG Forest Authority's Kagamuka treatment plant was the only plant in PNG apart from Bulolo in Morobe province, which produces large scales of treated power poles and timbers and plywoods to New Guinea Island's southern and highlands region since year 2000. It has closed operation for more than a decade due to funding constraints until this year when PNG Forestry decided to revive it. PNG Forestry is in the process of becoming a profit-making state entity like PNG Power and the reviving of Kagamuka treatment plants will bring in more profit to the department. Opportunities, so people like supporting multiple projects, local working money, the forestry by working money, the country by working money, the province by working money. PNG Forestry is also sorting out land ownership issues of two of its major plantations at Kondopina in Western Highlands Province and Kapena in Jiwaka. In a lens hearing process yesterday at Kagamuka Treatment Plant, lens officer Peter Kuman told landowners that PNG Forestry has certificates of occupancy and this means that their term of running the plantation is unlimited. <laughs> Kondopina na kabela, I mean, all right, because the government is showing him also um, in the 60s when time of Kiab even come, only document him, all documents go through my stuff. So make it work for the forest now, all in more easy now. It is a three cubic meter plant, now has been increased to 20 cubic and can treat 15 meter poles, a service that will not only benefit the locals but the country. I me mean, one plant, big plant. Plantation uh, money making block country, and it been stop ongoing. Yes, landowners all got general reasons. Department got general reasons. Once these two forestry and pine plantation ownerships are sorted out, PNG Forestry will be able to revive treating power poles and timbers from the new plant and sell it through the country. Vasinata Yama, National MTV News, Mount Hagen.